I am currently in my car. I just got some KFC. And I don't know if this is the right way to start this monthly reset on like, you know, eating fast food. No, but I was really craving it. And everyone on TikTok has been eating the famous bowl lately that I had to come and get it. Like, I don't care if <laughs> I have to. Um, but it is finally October and I don't even know where September went. Like it flew by so quickly, but I'm not complaining. I love October. I'm excited for Halloween and it feels more like officially fall. So there are a couple of things I really want to do to reset myself for the month. And, you know, aside from cleaning and all that, um, I just want to like kind of do a little recap of last month and my goals that I had because last month I had kind of like unrealistic goals maybe for myself because I know I did not achieve all of them and I'm gonna be real and honest like I said I was gonna start working out more often and I maybe worked out once a week which is fine that's you know at least I worked out but I wasn't doing it at least three times a week and then I wanted to start reading at least three books a month two books and I've only got one. That's okay, that's why I'm reevaluating and I think, um, you know, it's a new month, I can restart and try again and now I know what to expect. So, I think they gave me cherry coke. So I'm just gonna eat my little meal, head back home and get started on my little monthly reset routine. <laughs> So the next thing I want to do is clean out this desk and drawer. I feel like I haven't cleaned it out in so long and it is a mess. So I want to organize it and get it decluttered out. This is how it's looking so much better than before I had so many mail envelopes here but I have the highlighters post-its little cleaning pads um, dry erase markers and pens and my mouse airpods and a basic notebook all of these cables I want to organize together because this is basically like my SD cards um, charging cables iPad cables so I'm gonna put all the electronics in one to clean the nightstands and clean the desk which looks so good and nice and clean but now I want to update my calendar I kind of did try to scribble in October things but I want to make it look good I want to get it nice and organized so I'm gonna start erasing everything and just kind of updating it calendar it's ready to go for the month the next thing I really want to do to reset the month is something I should probably be doing every week which is cleaning out my purse and it is overflowing half the time I can't even find the lip liners I want because I have them in all my purses ready to go so basically here is a what's in my purse slash clean out I have rubber bands tampons uh, a pen shades 
my debit card and my license and then just some lip products this is my favorite it has been for a really long time now um, summer Fridays lip balm lip butter balm and then Morphe lip liner sweet tea one of my favorites that's affordable I love these Merit lip oils if you guys can get your hands on these they are worth it they are so good this is Bel Air tinted lip oil the clear one and then I also have taupe or I had taupe on it actually came off already but these are so hydrating and nice before bed or instead of like lip gloss they just like work really nice and um, I have Cork by Dose of Colors. Loose chained. It actually feels nice to like empty these out. I'm actually just gonna leave my ID and debit in this car. This is my um, go to. And then I will be putting all of these products away. Okay, perfect. So these are cleared out. So I'm basically getting through a lot of the things on my list. I wanted to wash my bed sheets, I wanted to update my calendar, um, wipe down my nightstands that I haven't. Um, wiped down in a while. Let me check my to-do list. Ooh, this is a good one. So the next thing, <laughs> so I really wanted to actually clean my makeup brushes in this vlog because I definitely should be washing these every month at least. So we're gonna have to do that today. I also wanna clean up my bathroom and work on my goals for the month and budgeting, which has been a total fail for the budgeting section. I want to just like reflect on last month and the goals I had that I guess I didn't achieve I mentioned that I set myself up to work out twice a week and I haven't been able to do that um, you know with work and you know family friends everything that gets in the way sometimes gets very hard and I am getting lazy half the time when I'm trying to work out at night so I'm gonna try to set myself up once again for this goal but this time i'm going to start off so small by saying once a week i'm just gonna do once a week i'm gonna try to uh i'm gonna try to sign myself up for a class so that will motivate me to go every week and i think i really hope that that's gonna get me set to working out that's one of the goals i have um for budgeting and then my finances i guess it has been so hard to keep going with that envelope way I taught, I showed you as I was doing it where I had like cash stored in envelopes. It honestly did work for like a minute, but it's so hard to have your money in cash. So I just don't think I'm gonna be um, doing that again. If anything, I think this month I kind of want to try out something new where instead of like spending on all these things that i want at the moment specifically like amazon shopping and things like that i want to put it down on a list so every week i will kind of try to prioritize what i really want out of that list and not go crazy and buy all these things that i need you know i hope i'm making sense um okay and then the last thing i think i set myself up for last month was reading three or two books and that also was unrealistic because i was just getting into reading again and i only got around to one book so which is not bad i'm like proud of myself for like trying to work out and trying to read i did finish one book so i'm happy i'm gonna limit myself not limit myself but set myself up to one book for the month as well we set ourselves up to fail by overloading ourselves even if it seems like a little bit two books two workouts a week sometimes it's just really not realistic if you're just starting that is the summary for this month um so this is the new book i'm going to read oh my god i haven't showed you guys this is my kindle i don't think i showed you guys i'm so happy with it it's so easy to read compared to my ipad like i can hold it with one hand 
read it in the sunlight, read it in the dark, and it's just like so perfect. This is the book I'm going to be starting this month. It's called Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. Last month I read uh, Verity by Colleen Hoover and it was amazing. Um, I'm not going to like give too much out. I don't want to spoil it for you guys if you guys haven't read it, but 10 out of 10. Read it. It's crazy. The ending is crazy. Um, and yeah, that should be a really good way to start off the month, I feel like. to-do list today but I'm actually going to jump in the shower and I want to reset my hair my scalp so I'm gonna try out actually I used it already once but I'm gonna be using this hair oil that I showed you guys last time it's the rosemary hint scalp and hair strengthening oil I'm just gonna let it marinate all over my hair massage it in before I wash it out and then I think the last thing on my list is going to be putting on my bed sheets back on and that should pretty much sum up my little reset monthly routine today. right here because I am all done with my to-do list for the day my reset routine is complete and I am so ready for October hopefully I go through with all of my goals and things I want to do for the month I will keep you guys updated like always and thanks so much for watching I will see you guys in the next one bye guys